This is why you should never throw anything away. Look at this, these little potting boxes, which are black and virtually the same size as the light sensor. So I can use one of those later on to uh, switch the light sensor on and off. Now let's find the one where the hole in the bottom is smallest, that one there. Well, it didn't come out entirely willingly, but uh, it's a good fit. And even in sunshine, look at this. There's the LED. And the fan's running as well. So this is good. Nothing's exploding. That's excellent. So I just need to wait for the sun to go down. Now it is... Um, the 19th of June, two days before the summer solstice, so the sun's going to go down quite late tonight. And as uh, luck would have it, or perhaps not luck in this case, we've got a beautiful clear evening sky. So a few uh, cable ties for neatness, and the solar panel is back on, and it is connected. So that is it. There is the Monster Bright 30 watt garden solar light just now waiting for dark. How about one final look at the wiring. So we've got the solar panel cable going in on the first two connections, battery going in on the middle two and the uh, daylight switch going in on the uh, load side. On the LED block we've got the boost converter uh, input with the fan wires and then the output going to the LED which is, oh where is it, it's under there and then these two wires come down to the battery and that is it. So here I've got uh, eight of these little one pound garden solar lights and they produce this much light. But if you want some proper light, you want a monster bright 30 watt LED garden solar light.